Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to ACS Sneakers. My name is Aiden. On today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the Nike Space Hippie 01 in the Black and Vault colorway. Now, before we get into that, I want to welcome back my returning viewers and to any new viewers, welcome to the channel. We do release brand new sneaker content just like this each and every week. So do make sure to smash that subscribe button. Also, make sure the bell notification is switched on so you never miss a video. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the intro. Now, before we actually dive into the review itself, like I always do on my channel, let's just take a quick look at the packaging. Now, the box itself at face value just looks like any other bog standard cardboard box. The reason for that is the Space EP lineup is part of Nike's new initiative to basically go carbon neutral. So they've just radically changed up the whole process relating to the shoe as well as the actual packaging as well. So on the box, there's no design detailing, there's no logos, nothing like that. The only thing that's actually on the front of the box itself is actually the size label. Now the label reads Nike Space Hippie 01 in the anthracite white black and vault colorway. Now this is in a UK size 9 as you can see. But if we now go ahead and actually take a look at the inside of the box. If we pop open the lid. Now all the design on the inside of the box itself has actually been printed on with plant based ink. Now also you will probably notice that there's actually no tissue paper included with the shoe. That also relates to the tissue that would normally be in the shoe as well. There's no tissue whatsoever. I can completely get the approach because of the fact that it is, you know, going carbon neutral. But I still would like a little bit of tissue paper to separate the shoes, to be completely honest. But that's just an opinion of mine. If we just quickly take out the shoes as well, there is actually some design just underneath, which I'm hoping that my camera is actually going to be able to pick up. Well, that's pretty much it for the box itself. Like I say, there's no actual design on the outside of the box itself, just the actual inside of the box that actually shows the design. But with all that said, if we go ahead now and get straight into my review. So getting straight into the shoe now, starting out with the upper. The upper of the shoe itself has been constructed using 85% recycled material in what Nike like to call space waste yarn. The reason for that is the materials are actually weaved together using recycled materials such as t-shirts, plastic bottle caps, as well as yarn scraps. Now it's not as soft to touch underhand as the actual prime knit materials that you may be used to. It's also not as premium feeling as something like a ballistic mesh. It's a really interesting feeling. It almost feels a little bit like wool to me. It's probably the closest example of what I could actually describe. So if you've ever had a really terrible Christmas jumper, or if you've ever had a wool jumper, that's pretty much what the feeling is like to me. And I know and understand what they're trying to do with the whole sustainable approach, but I just feel like the materials are just tragic to me is probably the best way I would describe it. I really don't like how they feel. But like I say, even though I don't really like the overall texture of the upper itself, just in terms of how it feels, I do personally really like the color change from the toe box upwards. Now the toe box is in more of this anthracite gray color, but like I mentioned, if we move up the shoe slightly, we do actually have more of this matte black. I do think they've missed a trick though, not incorporating some 3M stitching into this anthracite bit. But then just continuing on to the lateral side of the shoe, here we have this almost pixelated Nike swoosh in this silver colour. And then switching over to the medial side, here we have that Nike swoosh once again, but this time in that vault colour. Personally, this is another thing I really don't like about the shoe, the fact that both swooshes are different colours. I think the vault colour looks so much better, it really offsets the shoe a lot better as well. You know, the colours are very neutral and very tonal, so the fact that we've got a silver swoosh, it just doesn't really do much for me. Personally, I just think that that vault swoosh just looks so much better. And now moving down the shoe itself, here we have this Creator 4 midsole. Now this is a combination of Nike grind as well as a combination of different forms. And if you actually do look up close at the midsole area, it really has an interesting texture to it. And it feels really rough on the hand. To be honest, I don't really love it. And it's not the softest on feet either. But I definitely do feel like it adds a different dimension to the shoe just in terms of how it looks. But if we then switch over to the outsole of the shoe, here we have this primarily black rubber outsole. But then in the center of the outsole itself, peeking through, we do have some of that Zoom X cushioning. Now the insole of the shoe does also incorporate Zoom X scraps into the actual insole itself. But just in terms of the actual general comfort of the shoe, I was really underwhelmed to be completely honest. Now it's been a long time since I've actually had a space hippie and I don't remember it being this uncomfortable. Now it's not like the most uncomfortable shoe in the world, but if you try and hold this up against like an Ultra Boost Yeezy 350 or even up against the Zoom Air cushioning in the Jordan 1 Zooms, it just pales in comparison. The midsole feels really stiff. The actual outsole cushioning in terms of the Zoom X doesn't feel that comfortable underfoot either. And it just feels really cheap if I'm being completely honest. 
Now, everybody's experiences, you know, in this matter is going to be completely different because everybody has completely different preferences. So just because I don't think it's comfortable doesn't mean that the shoe isn't comfortable to you. And that in itself is actually a major reason as to why I just don't like the Space Hippie lineup. I've tried two of the different shoes now, two completely different colorways, and neither shoe I personally found comfortable. It's just one of those things, not all shoes are made for all people, and this shoe just definitely wasn't made for me. But with all that aside, moving now to the center of the shoe itself. In the center, we do have these chunky silver rope laces. Underneath the laces, we do actually have a pull tab. At the very bottom of the pull tab, we have the O1 detailing with the Nike swoosh. And then running up the laces, uh, we do actually have the Nike branding. Now, on either side of the laces, we do actually have these lace loops. So on the lateral side, they are in more of a white or silver color. And then on the medial side, they're in more of that black color. Personally, I think it would have looked a lot better if they actually went with vault to match the swoosh. But in general, it's really one of those details. It's quite inconsequential, doesn't make much of a difference. It's just something that I personally think would have looked a lot better. So just to quickly touch on sizing, I went with my natural normal size nine. When I got the shoe on, I felt like there was a little bit too much room around the toe box. So if I was actually planning on keeping this shoe, I'd probably send it back and go with an 8.5 as I do feel like that would be an overall better fit for me. But in general, it really depends on how you guys decide to wear your shoes will you know, determine what recommendation I would give you. If you like a little bit of extra room in the toe box, just go with your normal size. However, if you do want more of that true to size fit, I do think going a half size down would be in your best interest. But this shoe is actually sitting at quite a few different retailers. So if there's any chance for you to try a shoe before buying, I would highly recommend you do so, just so you can understand the best fit for you. But now just to finish up taking a look at the heel of the shoe, here we have once again another pull tab. And at the top portion of the pull tab, we do have the Move to Zero logo. At the bottom portion of the heel, we do actually have more of the anthracite grey colour. And other than that, I really think we've covered absolutely everything about this shoe that needs covering. So with all that aside, let's go ahead now and get straight into my opinions on the shoe. So just to wrap up this video and give you guys my overall opinion on the shoe itself, I do give the Nike Space Hippie or one in the Black Vault colourway a pretty reasonable 5 out of 10. Personally, I don't really feel like this shoe is something I would ever want to keep in my collection. I feel like I've covered the reasons as to why that is, and there's just something about the shoe that I just personally don't really like. Now, that's not to say I don't like Nike's new sustainable approach. I really think it is a, the right step in the right direction, but I can't keep a shoe just based on the thought that's gone into it. The shoe actually has to feel like it works for me, work with my collection, and it's just... Not a shoe that I would ever really want to wear, but I'd love to know what you guys think as well. So do make sure to leave me a comment in the comment section below. If you stuck around to this point in the video, I want to say a massive thank you. And if you are new to the channel, please make sure to smash that subscribe button. Also, make sure the bell notification is switched on so you never miss a video. And I hope to see you all again in the next one.